Here I am 3D printing a revolutionary drone that did not work. I made it in nylon and then I tried to set it on fire and here I am putting it together and okay here we are. Alright welcome back to a new video. Today we're back at it again with a nylon frame. That's really interesting. It's a, it's a good mix between the stiffness of PLA but still got some flex to it like TPU. Oh. oh, that's not good. I, I literally just came here. I flew for 15 seconds. Ah. I absolutely suck. The CC3D flight controller is good enough, change my mind. <laughs> you know, I got this voice in my head, separate from the other ones that I'm always hearing, telling me that the approach of a flexible drone is not a completely unintelligent approach to this problem. Like, hey, that's something Mother Earth can't break. The second drone has way thicker arms, hopefully enough to not bend out of proportion. It's also painted orange, which means it goes faster. Okay, so now it's time for another switcheroo of components, which I don't think you want to see, so I'm just gonna smash these together. All right, very nice transition. And here is the finished flexible drone frame. Yeah. Well, that was a good two hours wasted. Okay, this is very exciting. We got the results straight from NASA's least competent material specialist. The flexible nylon, okay, this one did do really well. I was surprised by how many times I could hit this before it broke. But as you can see, it's also bent. And no, that's not for me hitting it. That's what happens when I'm in control of a 3D printer. And for that reason, I'm out. PLA did kind of average, more of a control because the previous drone we did was made out of PLA. ABS, get the f PTG. You see, I'm not proud of it, but I'm, I, I materialistically discriminated against PTG, so... Very nice. Sweden has blessed us with pretty warm weather. It's looking pretty sharp. Gonna fly till I crash. Shouldn't be too long. I crashed and it was right there what did I tell you that was like 30 seconds dude honestly it wasn't even that hard of a crash so it should be fine but who knows oh
goodness gracious. I too am shocked. Not not just one, not two, but three arms. Honestly, that, that was not a hard crash. Sure, we did hit something hard, which is why it broke. You know, because that's not logic. Uh, but I think that differs from the other crashes that we've had. We've just been crashing into the ground, and that's mostly just grass and, and mossa. Whatever, that's in English. This is not over. Did I catch it on camera? Well, I guess that's one of the perks with plastic frames. You can just melt them together. If you haven't, if you haven't tried Okay, something, but oh my. <laughs> I should not be laughing, I should be crying, but that crash had a, a certain spiciness to it, you know what I'm saying? It had a taste of, of you know, impact strength. Uh, okay, we might want to put up a viewer's discretion advised for this one. There are parts literally everywhere, and it's shattered into so many pieces. Look at all these parts. There is. I'm I'm still laughing. This is hilarious. This is the worst crash I have ever witnessed. Well, the GoPro seems fine. That's a relief. Where's the battery though? There's a part over here. This is where the battery was attached. So I decided to read some comments instead and I stumbled across this one and it just so happens that I have a small PP. Wait, no, no, there you have my first attempt, that's my second and that's my third, four, five, six. Uh, good recommendation, man, I ripped out my hair. Then a quick paint job, swapping the electronics and then some crashes because that's why you're watching. Is the fact that I'm here once again just a little pathetic or a lot pathetic? Okay, today we are testing small PP frame. Pretty good mix between flexibility and rigidity. Kind of a mix between TPU and PLA. I think our chances today are slim but non-existent. That's it. So I plug it in. It works. 12 seconds later. And like one, two, well, there we go. Well, I don't need FPV to crash. I know it looks like I'm a pro, but don't, don't be disencouraged if you can't crash like this. It, it takes years of training. The antenna for the video transmitter broke off, but would you believe the frame is just fine? Look at this. Sure, I, I did say I was gonna crash test this frame, but it turns out I'm just too good. 
So I messaged my one and only friend that kind of knows how to fly a drone, but not really. So let's see if he can destroy it. Ja, lite hit och krascha. Ja, det menar jag ska krascha. Du ska spela in Om du bara för... flyger vanligt så är ja, krascharna kommer att per automatik. Ja, nej, det är sant, sant. Jävlar. <laughs> wow! <laughs> now if it isn't too obvious what didn't work and what worked I'm not sure if I ever got this in the video so I'm just gonna make a quick recap we tried to make a pure TPU frame it was just behaving like a wet noodle and it would never work I then tried to reinforce the TPU with PLA and it just wouldn't it and it just wouldn't adhere to the PLA. We tried nylon and that just broke instantly. TPU but with a beefed up frame, still just too much flex. PTG, kind of a sad story. I really was this close of giving up, so thanks for the person who ever suggested PP. It worked extremely well. The frame is still completely intact. One motor detached, but that's just because I didn't use any washers. Like this video for the YouTube algorithm and have an awesome day. Bye.